I know. Keep pushing, he'll run into the wall if he doesn't move, won't he? Good, now inside bend again. Turn, soften your hand. There, now push him with your leg, leg, leg. I was pushing him the entire time. I've never stopped. There you go. <laughs> change direction on your circle, keep that bend. Keep the bend to the left, but you're gonna change your circle so you're circling left. When you get to the rail on the other side of the arena, right bend, we're gonna outside bend. Look up. You gotta learn to use your peripheral vision to see him. Now outside bend, good. Now pushing him off your leg, getting him to yield his shoulders. Good, keep pushing, yep. Move your leg further back if you have to. There, there, push his shoulder in. Good. And inside bend. Outside bend. Now we have a horse who's lifting his shoulders. Inside bend. This has nothing to do with frame, but you notice that he puts his head together because his body is together. Outside bend. That's good, because she never uses yeah, it. Yeah. Pardon? My horse is skinny. I have a whole cut leg on him now. I know. That's why they do not actually rest on his stomach. Okay, yeah. we need to walk to canter transition and a nice one. So before you begin going anywhere, you're going to walk with inside bend on the circle. Yep. Keeping lots of inside bend. <laughs> Looking up, my dear. There you go. Look down your nose at everybody. Now outside bend at the walk. We're going to get this horse onto his hindquarters before we go into the canter. Yeah, it's hot. Inside bend. Do you want to lift and elevate? Cross those legs over. No, outside bend. You can't feel it? He's just as bouncy and that's all he is. That's all you Make feel. Make ride bareback. So you can start to feel stuff. Yeah. Inside bend. I was flying off. And canter. Walk for a second again. Keep the inside. Now go outside. Come back to the inside. And canter. Better. So inside, inside, inside bend. This is gonna be hard for him. It develops muscle. Outside bend. Yep. Lots of leg. It's not easy. Push the shoulder. Look up where you wanna go. Push it. Push the shoulder, push the shoulder, push the shoulder, push the shoulder. I know it's hard, Chino Bambino. Inside bend. Good. Looking up. Not worrying about frame, we're worried about bend. Outside bend. That's it. And push, and push, and push, and push, push, and push. Use the rail. Yeah. Good. Inside bend. Make sure the transition from outside to inside, inside to outside is easy. Wow, different horse. Outside bend. Leg. Push him in. 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 Yep. And inside bend. Keep pushing him in. I'm using all the leg I got. Excellent. He's elevating. I know. Okay, so you have to do this every day when you ride him for the first 10 I minutes. Out too much. 
No, after he's warmed up. After he's warmed up. Yeah, that's way too much work for him if he's before he's warmed up. Elevate and round from the bum. Use his motor. When he uses his motor and he bends and he elevates, he frames beautifully. Right? So that's what we need is to get him really coming from the hind end and up underneath you. So let's canner this way. But before we canner, start at the walk. Get the bend. Get the bend. What that does is it collects your walk. It gets that elevation. It gets him pushing from the hind quarters. So when you go into canter, he can elevate easier. So make sure your walk is still with purpose. It's not. It's going everywhere. <laughs> Outside bend. Change it slowly. Yes. Good. Mommy's becoming a horse too, eh, Fred? It's hot, eh? It's a little toasty. Up, push. Look up, Queenie. Inside. Leg. You're just working on Ben. Good. Canter. Yep. I feel like he gets the canter easier on this Hot. side. Outside Ben. Give him a boot with your outside leg on this outside Ben. Yes. Click. You're walking. So when you're walking, you can still have bend and give with the elbow. He's just like Look up. sidestepping it That's all. okay. It's his shoulders you want moving in. Good. Now inside bend. Outside leg support. Outside bend. Good. Nice crossovers in the back end. Inside bend. Prepare. Canner. That's okay. Keep it for a minute. Keep it for a minute. Now walk. Keep your inside bend. Outside bend. Inside bend. And canter. Yeah. He thought, elevated, and then went. Better. Inside, inside bend. Look up. Outside bend. Really push that outside leg on. Good. 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 We're gonna get this horse to develop the proper muscles in his back. Good. Inside. Outside. Good. Good boy. Inside. This is so much nicer now. Outside. Look at that elevation in the shoulder. Yeah. It's good. I lost my scare up. Okay. Good. Inside. Collect your counter and go down the center line, bending to the left. Collect, collect, collect. What, what do you mean we are collected? Now change your bend. Right bend. And go right. You can. Good, she's learning it. Good. Back to the walk. Um, outside bend. Outside bend, push him straight. Yep. Good. Push him straight. Push him straight. Keep the outside bend. Keep the outside bend. Good. Inside bend. And counter away. Yes. Circle. Inside. That's it, look up. Start with the outside bend. You're pushing your shoulder in. Good. Inside bend. I wonder if this is exactly what Brandon was teaching her. Yeah. Yeah. And walk. Keep your bend. Keep your bend. Keep your bend. And canter. Outside bend. 
Yep, keep pushing him. Inside bend. And canter. Good boy! He did have it! So walk for a moment, outside bend. I think your days of coaching inside. are... Inside. Get ready on the inside. Breathe. Breathe. Wait. Wait till his inside shoulder is elevated. And go. Yeah. <laughs> Much nicer transitions. Outside bend. Outside leg. Push him in. Push him in. Push him in. Push him in. He's just getting tired. And walk. Keep the bend. Oops. And canter. Oh. Yeah! -ha! That's what we were looking for. And walk. Keep your bend. And canter. Good boy. And walk. And canter. Good boy. You may walk. Keep your inside bend. Change it. Outside bend. Breathe. And drop it. Good, Good boy. boy. Yeah, we know. All right, Sophia, get your booty down here, girl. Get on down here. Kathy's like, I'm done now. <laughs> They both, it's too hot and Sophie's tired and it was a big lesson. We're gonna work on a few more transitions and then we're done. I'm gonna throw you up in front of Gabby and make you go fast. The horse deserves all your attention. I might not be able to uh, catch her because I was gonna catch Jacob from jumping off the tree. <laughs> I was getting ready. I was getting ready. I had my arms up. Were you so in I was water? like, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm one. Ready? And Jacob just jumped. About yeah, me. like I started counting, he just jumped on top of her. Because he's heavy. He is very heavy. Yeah. Okay, so out of walk. Let's get him engaged. Start with an outside bend, yes. And we're going to challenge you, and you're not going to stay on circle, you're going to go straight. Inside bend. Riding straight. You're giving mommy a workout today. Outside bend. Inside bend and counter. Outside bend. Inside bend. Good, let him go. How come he struggles to canter so badly? Because every time you ask him to canter and he doesn't get it right away, he does it on purpose, but then you haul him back and let him walk again. Go, go, go. I don't care that it's wrong. Just go, go. That's the biggest, like, fuck type thing he's ever done with a rider on his back. There, circle. Yeah. So, come down to the walk. That's okay. Come down to the walk. Outside bed. What did he do? He swapped his lead to do a lead change. He was going over the diagonal. Yeah, he's been going the other way. Yeah. Breathe. Big breath out. Good. Inside bed. Breathe out and ask for the canter. Push him through, push him through, push him through. Go, Canter, yes. Circle. Ooh, he seems upset. Push, do not stop. Thank you. Go, same thing. This horse is too smart for his own good. He knows he if he is. If he knows if he messes up, he gets to walk. You're in Trillium, you're on the flat. You're going into the fence or into the canter. 
He picked up the wrong lead. Do not bring him back down. Change it out of fly because it's less noticeable than if you pull him back to a trot. Ask him to walk. Keep your inside bend. Pen canter. Yeah. Good boy. Lots of love. Scratch his neck. Outside bend. Breathe. Don't move your hands too much. Just stay steady and wait. You're not asking for frame. You're asking for impulsion, elevation, and engagement. Inside bend. And walk. Keep the bend. And canter. Keep push after him. Push after him. Don't care. Now ask for the change. Don't break. Yes. So a lot of this is, she's going to let me walk. She's going to bring me back. It takes a few minutes to get the change. I'm lazy. I never realized you were Yeah. <laughs> Gabby's hung up on me. And walk. Keep your bend. Outside bend. Quiet hands. Inside bend. Girl, and canter once he's bent. That's okay, and change. Inside bend. And walk. Good boy. Good boy, and canter. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Give him a loose rein. She wants to ride him on a loose rein in the... Up in your light seat. On the flat, because she saw a lot That's of people... where he should be. Well, you have to build elevation before you can let him go. That's her next week's lesson, is getting him to uh, have a long and low frame and look for the flat bottom. Okay. All right, go ahead and walk, give him a big pat. So, you have a week. Don't you know that you're beautiful?